So we're first going to say for part A that uh, downwards is negative. Or rather negative y. And so we can say that then um, we're going to say that first the time drop one leaves the nozzle. That's going to be t equals zero. And the time of landing on the floor, t sub one. So the subscript one being the time it takes for the first drop to reach the floor. So this would be y sub one equaling negative one half g t sub one. And t sub 1 is then equaling the square root of negative 2y divided by g. So this would be equaling the square root of 2, rather negative 2, multiplied by negative 2.00 meters, divided by 9.8 meters per second squared. And this is giving us 0.639 seconds. So at that moment, the fourth drop begins to fall. And from the regularity of the dripping, we can conclude that drop two leaves the nozzle T equaling 0.639 seconds divided by three. This would be equaling 0.213 seconds. That would be for, again, the second drop. That's when the second drop leaves the nozzle. When the third drop leaves the nozzle, it's 0.639 seconds divided by 2. Or rather, better, better said, we can say 0.213 seconds multiplied by 2. So this would be equaling 0.426 seconds. And this would be the time that the third drop leaves the nozzle. And so we can say, therefore, Time in free fall for drop two, we could say t sub two equaling t sub one minus 0.213 seconds. And so this would be equaling 0.426 seconds. That would be the time of free fall. And that would be in order to solve for uh, the second drop's position when drop one strikes the floor, we're simply using this time. So that would be y sub two again for part A, y sub 2 equaling negative 1 half g t sub 2 squared. And so this would be equaling negative 1 half multiplied by 9.8 meters per second squared multiplied by 0.426 seconds quantity squared. And this is giving us negative 0.889 meters. Or we can say approximately 89 centimeters uh, below the nozzle. So this would be our answer for part A. So second drop position as first drop hits floor. For part B, we can say that here, the time in free fall up to the moment drop one lands for drop three then would be equaling t sub one. And here it would be minus 0.426 seconds, giving us 0.213 seconds. So the third drop is only in free fall for 0.213 seconds. So the third drop's position would be again negative one half g t squared g sub t g t sub three squared and this is giving us negative one half multiplied by nine point eight meters per second squared multiplied by point two one three seconds quantity squared and this is giving us negative point two 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 meters so we can say approximately twenty two centimeters below the nozzle. And again, similarly to part A, this is the third, the third drops position as the first drop hits the floor. So that'd be your answer for part B. That is the end of the solution. Thank you for watching.